If you look at the hands of a clock, they tick by with precision, moving every second, every minute, every hour. Tick, tock, tick, tock. So why do those ticks seem to talk faster when you're having a blast? Let's find out why time flies when you're having fun. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Why does time seem to fly by when we're doing something pleasurable, like playing video games with friends or singing along at a concert? And why does time seem to crawl when we're doing something boring, like sitting with a dead phone in a waiting room? It's because like our brain itself, our perception of time can be a little squishy. There's no one specialized section of the brain working like a mechanical internal clock, giving us set ticks and talks at an expected rate. Instead, perception of time is distributed across many parts of the brain, like a lot of parts. We're talking the anterior and posterior cingulate cortex, the prefrontal cortex, the inferior frontal gyrus, the cerebellum, hippocampus, and a bunch of others. So how we perceive time is a complicated question, and it stretches and compresses based on a lot of different factors. But here's what we know. For starters, our brain is constantly bombarded by information. What you see, sensations from your skin, what you hear and smell, and your emotional state. Sometimes I try to give my brain a break by not smelling anything. When you're bored, there are fewer things to pay attention to. I mean, if there was a lot of interesting stuff going on, you probably wouldn't be bored. So when you're doing something tedious, like sitting in detention, you pay extra attention to things your brain might tune out normally, like, how much time is passing. But when we're having fun, the brain's paying attention to all the new things that we're enjoying and how much time has passed is a lower priority. Basically, we perceive time more when we're paying attention to it. And not all fun is created equal. One study out of the University of Alabama showed that being merely content doesn't make us feel time differently. It's specifically when all that fun you're having is driven by a goal. Study participants who were shown photos of delicious desserts perceived that they were only shown the pics of the treats for a short time. But these same people made more accurate time assessments when shown neutral photos, like geometric shapes or even generically positive photos like flowers. Hungry participants thought the food pics were displayed for an even shorter amount of time. So for these people, it felt like time passed more quickly when their goal, a sweet treat, was presented to them. Look at this picture of a cheesecake. You just did science. You may have also heard grandparents talking about how fast it seems like you've grown or how fast the past year has gone by. They aren't wrong. As you get older, you tend to perceive time as going by more quickly. When you're nine years old, one single week is a pretty big percentage of the time you've existed. But when you're 84, one week is a much smaller part of your life. Looking back over so much time in total makes that time feel like it's gone by more quickly. As scientists look into how we perceive time, there's evidence it's related to a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Dopamine has lots of jobs, but one of its most important is sending pleasure signals to the brain when we do something perceived as good for our survival, like playing a team sport or spending time with people that you love. When you're having fun, your neurons fire off dopamine, giving you a sense of pleasure. Basically, your brain's telling you, hey, this is great, here's a little treat, let's do this again. This reinforcement loop is deeply connected to our sense of time. If your brain wants to encourage you to eat a berry, it needs to send out the signal when you're eating the berry, and not a few minutes later when you're washing the dishes. And if the brain wants to keep us in a rewarding environment, Subtly manipulating our internal clock so we spend more time in that environment makes sense. Your brain thinks you're doing something that benefits you. No need to remind you to keep track of time spent there. So the brain chemistry that keeps you up until 2 a.m. playing a fun video game might have started out as a way for our ancient ancestors to spend more time in a fruit orchard. We've come a long way. By learning more about how dopamine reinforcement ties into how we judge time, it could help us understand not just how we learn and remember, but also how to treat brain disorders related to dopamine defects, like Parkinson's or ADHD. So next time you're bored and it feels like time is taking forever to pass, just remember, it's a complicated trick of your brain as it tries to keep you alive. But that thought only takes a few seconds, so you're gonna be bored for a while after that. Maybe you should have brought a book or something. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. 
And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.